and the best has just gotten better. What's up peeps, Jace here and I have just recently updated my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus to its latest firmware, the One UI 3.1. And I have already been diving myself into this new system for more than two weeks now and in this video I'm gonna break down some of the highlights of this upgrade and I think you're gonna like what I've got for you. Before anything else, I'd like to thank you for clicking on this video and if you're new in my channel, I hope you will like this one. And if so, I'd appreciate if you will give this a thumbs up after watching till the end. So here's the what's new list of this update but we're not gonna go through each one of this. But hey, I like the idea of the first sentence there designed to help you focus on what matters. So after waiting for around 30 minutes to complete the update, the first thing you would notice is the new pattern pin pad layout which is now a bit smaller and can now move to three spots, in the center or on either side. The clock has now got a nicer font style and if you tapped it, it can show you additional info from widgets that you can select on the settings which ones you want to appear here. The two app icons on both lower corners are grayed out or just watermarks which were colored in the previous firmware. I also noticed that the screen recognition is now a bit faster considering you are in a well-lit environment. I didn't notice any changes with the fingerprint recognition speed though. And if you fancy using the Samsung's dynamic lock screen gallery, You'll be pleased to know that you now have more new high quality wallpapers to choose from and new categories are added for you, like photos of cats and dogs. You can still draw down the quick panel and notification from three spots and in relation to the design, you will notice that the notifs are now in one single tray, but you can still cancel them out individually. Now as you can see, there is this blurring effect when you draw the quick panel and notification bar. I personally am not sure if I find this cool, cause even only when I touch the top edge of the screen when adjusting the volume, the screen starts to blur. But what do you think? Please let me know in the comment section below. Maybe it's just the little fuzzy side of me. <laughs> Talking about notifications, there is this cute little animation that pops down whenever there is one. Hmm, okay. When you adjust the volume on the landscape mode, you'd rather use your left hand so you can easily see the volume level, because the volume bar appears only on the right side of the screen. But look! this bar transformed to a mini volume panel in one click and you can just adjust the volume of five different departments. Multitasking windows can now be done in different modes. Just select which area of the screen you want to open another app which is represented by the blurring field. I like it that when you close a window from a multi-tab screen, you don't have to rearrange them again when you want to reopen them, because it will automatically open up to where and how they were before you close them. But if you want to close multiple windows, it's now easier to do because the close all tab is no longer obscured by other app icons, as these were previously overlapping one another. And of course, if you want a media app like YouTube to keep on playing while you're operating on other application, you can just leave it floating on any part of your screen. If you've been in the channel for quite some time now, you probably know that one of the particular things that I wish was made better on this tablet is its overall animation fluidity. And I'm so glad to have this update which made everything looks a lot better. The screen transition and the movement of the icons are now far smoother than before the system was updated. This of course can be adjusted on the settings on how slow or how quick you want the transition to be like. Another thing that impressed me a lot after the update is the writing experience using the S Pen. Though the delay on writing was previously not quite noticeable, now it has gotten even better.
the experience is just quite fulfilling. This new update comes with many other fun and interesting features, like smarter photo editing on gallery, alarms and reminders narration, and even on-screen audio media live caption. But if you have other recently released Samsung devices, synchronization is now made possible among your devices, which unfortunately doesn't apply to me. Hmm. The last thing I want to show you about this update is the one that you have probably seen on Apple devices years ago, particularly on iPad. The ability to use your Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus as a second monitor screen for your Windows computer or laptop. This is cool since the S7 Plus offers you a wide and big enough screen which I would say is a significant addition for your laptop or PC screen. It cannot be used as a third monitor screen though and I don't think I personally would need it. But hey, it's there if you need it. So overall, this recent update made the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus greater, faster, smarter, and simply better in many aspects, from small to big departments. I hope you found something interesting on this video, and if you do, I would appreciate a thumbs up from you. And please let me know in the comment section below which one you find useful from this new update and which one you think is just a gimmick. So that's the end of this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.